I am a professional entrepreneur. So my uh, Master of Science in Entrepreneurship, New Venture Creation is something I got from here. Okay. So uh, my plan was always to, to do this. Uh, prior to that, it was academic background as business, economics, international business, marketing. And then uh, working background is everything from oil, worked on the oil rigs to beef industry, telecommunications, to pff, had a marketing company, did, just did everything, bit of everything. Uh, so we're developing a, a light electric vehicle for city use with some really high-tech features like a heads-up display and a steerable wire system, but it's made for environmental uh, sustainability with, with that at the core. Okay. We developed the prototype and everything here, we unveil it this year, and then we'll mass manufacture it in Sweden, starting the setup next year, and it'll be a fully automated robotic facility. So in theory, the lights can be turned off inside the building. So we try to solve problems in mobility. So in the research phase at the university, uh, we looked at what are the big problems in mobility and what are the big opportunities. And it was clear to see many cities around the world that have a peak car problem. In other words, the population expands, there's traffic jams and no more space on the road, but all the cars on the road have one person in the car driving short distances at low speeds. So that was a problem that was uh, easier to solve with a uh, vehicle like this, which is, has a shorter time to market. Yeah, so we started, when you do a project that's as uh, complex as this, uh, it's very important to start with a strong grounding in the academic uh, world and also the public and the private sector. So we started as a research project at the University of Lund. Then we had access to a lot of different resources, but also uh, financing in the early days came from the university and, and the government sector. And then when we became a startup at the start of last year, uh, then we just had different business angels, a little bit of government money, and then we did a equity crowdfunding campaign. I don't know, I get motivated by the prospect of solving a problem that shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. uh, I get motivated when I see all of the research studies like MIT shows more people die prematurely from vehicle emissions than from car accidents and breast cancer and drug abuse and suicide and all these things. Uh, that can be easily solved with technology that is common today. And I think technology was supposed to solve problems. So that's something that motivates me a lot. The most important is to have a s strong reason why you're doing it. That can motivate you more than other things. If you're fighting for a cause or you're on some kind of crusade, you know, it's a very deep motivation. Entrepreneurship is an incredible opportunity to follow your heart and do something that you really love and be free and make money in the world. And it's, of course, it's really difficult in places. Uh, you have a lot of people telling you a lot of different things, but at the end of the day, you've got to chase for, for what you want and don't be afraid of anything. You are not here on this earth to get a job, make money, buy stuff and die. You can have whatever you want, you can try to do whatever you want. I mean, why not? We're on this little tiny planet for a short period of time. You might as well use that time to do whatever you want. Maybe you want to sit in a dark room coding an app or you want to do some kind of rock and roll shit. The whole idea of entrepreneurship is you're completely free to do whatever you want. You don't have to be an expert in the way that everybody else has been. Build something new and be the best expert in the world at that thing. Good luck, kids.